Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unbox It with Marty. And in this video, I am going to take a high-level test drive of Chrome OS Flex. Why? Well, look around. Maybe you might have one of these. Okay, maybe you not, may not have one of these, but maybe you might have something like this. Well, what I'm really driving at is maybe you might have that old PC, laptop, Mac that's just sitting around gathering dust. Too old. However, after watching this video, you might be interested in Chrome OS Flex because it just might breathe new life into your device. So join me on this high-level test drive of Chrome OS Flex. All right, here we are. We are looking at the desktop for Chrome OS Flex's uh, operating system. Uh, before we do this test drive, I have a good question. Many are going to have, and I think it's a good question, is, come on, Marty. What do you have under the hood on this laptop that you're using? Well, I'm going to tell you. Right now, this uh, Chrome OS Flex is installed on a Dell Inspirian i3179. It's got an M3 processor. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I did swap out the hard disk drive for a solid state drive. So it's running with a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. First things first, we're looking at a new operating system. The first thing that most people are going to want to look at is your web browser because, frankly, that's where a lot of your uh, work is done. So, obviously, this is, you get it, the name is Chrome OS Flex. Obviously, the web browser here is going to be Google Chrome. Going to uh, open it up, jump right here to the page. Uh, up here is the address if you need to look it up yourself. Uh, basically, it is upgrade your PC and Macs to Chrome OS Flex. Kind of nice, huh? So let's uh, slide a little bit south. And as you go further down here, you can read through this. You can learn a lot about Chrome OS Flex. I'm going to go down here. Get started with Chrome OS Flex free of charge. Uh, you can see they're asking for names and information. But I fall into this category, and maybe you do too. Uh, interested in Chrome OS Flex for use at home? Click here. Here you go, it's gonna, the next several pages here are gonna give you information on how to actually install Chrome OS Flex into your device. So uh, obviously prepare for the installation, read through it, good information here. Next is create the USB installer. And again, you have the information here on how to do it. You got two options here. You can use the Chromebook uh, recovery utility or you can choose to download from Google. So you have two options here, just depending on what you're more comfortable with. So next page, we're going to learn how to uh, boot the device using the USB installer. Just again, read through it. And here, start using the Chrome OS Flex. Just get you started and you're all set. So let's have a look at some more. Well, we just looked at Google Chrome. Let's see what else they have to offer down here. What's this, Gemini? Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, this does look interesting. You know, uh, this looks like it has something to do with AI, uh, Google AI. So uh, if you, unless you live under a rock, uh, you'll know that AI is all the rage right now. So yeah, that does look like it's worth exploring. Uh, let's see, you've got uh, Gmail. You've got Google Calendar, Files. Well, we could just pop that open to have a quick look. That's kind of, well, that is what uh, Files looks like. Um, let's see, you got Messages, Google Meet, and you got YouTube. Oh, look at this. Look at this channel, Unbox It With Marty. By the way, I want to thank you for uh, tuning into this uh, channel, and I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you enjoy the videos on this channel. And if you do, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And... Uh, Likes are good too. So let's continue, let's carry on. You know what, let's go down here, let's go to the lower left and let's open up the launcher. Let's take a look at some of the apps that come with it. Uh, you got Playbooks, Chrome, Files, Gemini. Yeah, we already uh, took a glance at that. That does look interesting, doesn't it? You got Gmail, Google Meet, Google Chat, Docs. You know, I'm gonna come back to that in a little bit. Slides, Sheets, you know, and I might come back to that one too. Uh, Google Drive, Google Keep, Google Calendar, Messages, YouTube, see so YouTube Music, Camera, you got uh, Google Maps, Settings, Explore, 
calculator. Let's play with that one for a second. 22 plus 23. There you go, 45. Yeah, that looks nice. That was calculator. So let's go back down here. Uh, calculator, gallery. Uh, you got Chrome Canvas. Screencast, text, print jobs, scan, key shortcuts, terminal, and web search. You know what? We're going to circle back to that one too. Like I said, I wanted to circle back. Let's just take a look at Docs. Docs is the word processor that comes with this. I'm not that familiar with it, but we'll just take a quick gander at it. So let's have a look here. I'm going to try to misspell this on purpose. Oh, see, I think it already corrected the word process, uh, the word itself, processor, and here it's saying I made a mistake. It says, do you mean nice? Okay, so there's a little demo of the word processor. That works good. Uh, check this out. Kind of get the idea. It's a, uh, runs through the uh, Chrome web browser. So the word processor is actually, you're seeing it through the uh, Chrome browser. So let's close this out and let's take a look. What else did I say? Oh, well, I wanted to take a look at Sheets. We're going to open up a blank one. Okay. Let's just try something like this. Um, let's go with 25, 25, 50. All right. So let's, uh, you got the little sum key here. So, well, you know what? Let's do this. We'll close this out. I'm going to highlight these three cells. Obviously down here, you can see the sum is 100, which is right. The minimum is 25. Max is 50, that makes sense. Count is three, and the average is 33.3. .3. Looks good. So that's one way to look at your spreadsheet, but let's try this. Uh, we're gonna go over here, pick your sum, functions, and sum. Let's uh, drag the cells we wanna use. Look at that 100. Let's go back. We're gonna try something else. Let's just, uh, let's try average. Drag the cells again, there you go. 33.3 .3 repeating decimal. So there you got an idea. So the spreadsheet there is nice. It's adequate. Let's see what else we wanted to look at. Oh, and last I wanted to look at the web store. So let's load that up. So here you go. Uh, welcome to the Chrome web store. Obviously we can supercharge your browser with extensions and themes for Chrome. All right, so you can go through that. So let's take a look at tools just to give you an idea. Get an idea. Let's see what else we can take a look at here. Art and design. Accessibility. You kind of get it. You know what? I skipped the first two, but we'll take a look at them anyway. So shopping. Entertainment. And uh, that pretty much gives you a good idea of what you can do through the Chrome Web Store. You know, let's pause here. There is a list of what they consider certified devices. You can drill into here and go through and see if your device is listed as a certified models list. And you can just read through here. Obviously, certified models are expected to work with Chrome OS Flex. Uh, and as you can see, the color codes, minor issues expected, major issues expected, decertified. Uh, just gives you an idea. Now, the device I'm using is not on this list, but... Uh, it seems to run fine, so it's just something to consider, just a little more knowledge for you. You know, I really couldn't help myself. Uh, you know, I remember the first day at work when they gave me two screens to work with, and uh, you know what, I always seem to want to play with it. So yes, here with uh, Chrome OS Flex, I'm demonstrating that yes, you can run two screens at once. Anyway, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I enjoy making these videos. If you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.